What is up, everyone? Episode 7 of the Hajo campaign here. Legendary difficulty. Uh, we start off with a very simple rebel battle against a combined light cavalry and Yarayashi guard force. There'll be no issue for us to deal with. We're at a pretty late point in the campaign. As you can tell, we already have Matchlock Ashigaru. I think I, I I recruited some Matchlock Samurai as well. And um, Siege Tower Bines. I'm going to be ferrying, shipping my Daimyo over to Central Japan to do battle with the Iko Iki. I'm already at war with them, but I mean to, to really dial up, you know, the, the intensity of the attack. All right, so we start off with a rainy, ba with a rainy battle. It's more of an inconvenience than the problem. I just can't see crap, especially because I have a window right behind the monitor and it uh, gets kind of difficult to see stuff in this environment. So uh, uh, these two Yari got are going to be a problem because they don't have that much morale. So I think I'll just keep it down to two outside and then here and here i think yeah that's good enough i think we can deal with this force by just hanging around inside i already got light cavalry there all right i think we took on a very good deployment here they have one unit of boashigaru or two units of boashigaru that's going to be easy to deal with i'm just going to have the garrison unit stand here and tank Garrison and Samurai Retainers just tank the blows from those archers. Okay, we form up the lines now. The Yachty lines, I'll make. I'll bring the general back here to just make sure, you know, extra insurance to make sure these guys don't break. Light cavalry. Um... There's going to be a lot of back and forth in this fight because units won't shatter. Got to keep that in mind. I'm going to bring these two Yari to back over here. Move them forward as needed. Yeah, just a lot of units just breaking and then coming back. Breaking and then coming back. That's, that looks like it's going to be the... Looks like it's going to be the state of this fight. But I think it's okay. Match lock should be able to cover the flank well enough. Just one more volley should be able to shatter these units for good. Alright, are they gonna fire? Are they gonna arc their fire? Please don't go target the match locks. Okay, yeah, it seems like they are arcing their fire. It's good enough for me. I might bring the samurai katana ronin to like just perfectly hit them in the flanks over here all right unit is broken let's switch targets fire at will yeah the enemy boy ashigaru are barely making a dent in their own men it's great yari ashigaru climbing over the walls okay and now we are gonna we are gonna run these yari around real quick I'm concerned. I would like to fight. I would like to take down that uh, light cavalry, but I want to keep some Yari Ashigaru in the fort. And I want to bring my own light cavalry into this fight. Wished I could. I'm going to make... Yeah, you target the uh, light cavalry. I want to bring my own light cavalry out, you know? Would like to very much. I'm gonna form up a yachty wall there. Oh no, 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 no. Wrong direction. They're going through the wrong gate. Okay, we got units shattering all along the front. So we got light cavalry charging in as well. Yeah, we're taking a bit of uh, aggro from the Boashigaru here. I'm gonna try and get my light cavalry in there ASAP. Just to speed up the fight. 
We got the generals there incoming. I'm going to target the generals as well with the matchlock actually got it. And I'm doing this with a severe handicap. Like, I cannot see crap right now. Because it's daytime while I'm doing this. Yeah, that should be it. Oh, that, that's painful. That could have been worse, though. Let's get the matchlock actually got off the walls before they friendly fire my men into oblivion. And there we go. Now I wanna I wanna kill as many of these guys as possible so I don't I can auto resolve the follow-up fight. And for those of you wondering why I have a rank 2 general this late in the campaign, because this guy was, until very recently, tagging along with my daimyo. And it's only until just now, you see, that, that he's leading his own battles. Alright. Oh, I remember this. Okay, so... This is gonna be a close call, but I, I, I have the capacity to withdraw. My only concern over here is the enemy cavalry, like they're going to engage in a wide flanking maneuver and then either go after my general or the bow samurai, but I do have the terrain over here working to my advantage. It's really just a question of time, like I need to, I need to break the enemy center with Yachty walls before the enemy cavalry can, can close in for the kill. Or alternatively, I could make the boas advance in the front and uh, sometimes that can make the enemy, like the AI, decide to charge you head on because they want to go for the archers. I think I'll do that, actually. I'll keep the archers in front. So I, I want to ideally the whole enemy army. Ah, no, they're not taking the bait. All right, so, so this is literally just a question of... Of can I can I knock them out fast enough? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna lose formation these guys real quick. Okay, I uh, don't want to be taking aggro from the. Uh, I'm gonna pull my general onto the other side because I I don't want to be hit with the flanking attack. I think I'm going to have the bow samurai literally just. Literally just like actually take the fight to light cavalry right now. They're not that bad actually. Especially when you give them this hill advantage or whatever, they're not that bad. Get down that hill real quick. Especially with upgraded melee attack. Yeah, not 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 atrocious. They didn't even take that many losses, even on the charge. Oh, but unfortunately, yeah. Unfortunately, um, that Yari Ashigaru had to take it in the rear, in the flank. I can't uh, inspire, un unfortunately. And these boss samurai really are not doing that bad against... Uh... I can't inspire this unit, unfortunately. Aren't doing that bad against this unit of light. They didn't even take a charge over there. Awesome. Bo Ashigaru aren't even getting that many kills off, and that's it for this fight. I think, yeah, that's it. That's literally it. Bo Samurai took 20 losses to Light Cavalry because they were going uphill. That's just how insane the height advantage is in this game. No, I need to actually, like, run these guys down. Like, the Bo Ashigaru especially need to be run down. And these guys over here. Quick. Quack! Yeah, that was amazing. That went way better than I expected. Like, I, I expected to win, but I did not expect to win, like, that decisively. It's pro it or maybe heroically. We'll see if the game hands that to me. Hopefully, I can take the settlement next turn. Yeah, heroic victory. That's 
That's the power of like taking a good plan and sticking to it, seeing it through. And of course the power of Yachty Wall. Okay. Wow, what was not it's not it's like one to it's like a one to twelve KD at that point. Or maybe before we count killing down the routing units is probably like running down the routing units is probably one to ten. Still insane, regardless. And the guy gets to go to rank three. I think he's earned that. And here they are. Machilok Samurai are capable of rank fire and possess excellent morale. One of the only unit movies, like introduction movies, that I will not skip. Yeah. Two generals uh, climbing up the ladder. I, I'm, I think I'm breaking even overall. Like, I'm, I'm losing money one turn, but then making it back. Like, I'm not spending that much on units. Eco Aki just attacked us, it seems, the previous turn, and we made it out of that one. I think I will wipe out. Yeah, I'll move out and wipe out these guys real quick. Hopefully rank this guy up. And uh, maybe we can sue for peace against the Iko Iki once again. Get some crazy cash. I remember we got like 10,000. Okay, so this guy... What? what? This is bugged. The, the whole like plus 7% like retainers are just bugged. And there's no way I'm going to take the added upkeep. But you know what? It's like 40 Coco, I think, in the end. So that's not... Whatever. Yeah, you see, this works properly, but not the retainers for whatever reason. Yeah, that guy can sit there back in the... What was I going to do? Iko Iki, uh, uh, please. If you can give me some money, that would be great. Will you give me another 10,000? Okay. Not this time. I see. I can't. I can't get... Ah, no. Okay, they're, they're not budging this time. 3,000. Let's try. Okay, they're uh, they're very cheap this time. Fine, 1,000. I'll take 1,000 Koku. It's better than nothing, right? And the trade agreements. If only for the information. I want to I get some intel. You know, send my merchants forward and hear what's going on. So we got... You got this army over here. It's probably got a bunch of bow samurai because they're boron because they got a foot archery range. And that's my medium turn objective. I want to take Yujiyasu, get him on the fleet here. Also, that trade agreement was worth a lot. Hang on, are you guys doing something? I want to check something here. I was kind of, I was thinking maybe there was a sea trade route that they were blockading and now that because uh I got the because I I sued for peace with them they they unblockaded the port but that's a lot to be making from trade. Fine. I guess I will take it. 3k a turn is not bad at all. Not too shabby. But what is my realm divide progress? Yeah, so I can take one more settlement and I need to solve the food crisis like soon, I think. Okay, that's negative six. We're already at negative 15 maximum in Sagami and Kai. Yeah, let's finish these guys off because they're going to go and probably raid my farm and make the situation worse. Get him back into the settlement. And um, who am I at war with currently? Mogami and Hattori, okay. We just signed peace with Ikuiki, but I expect they'll declare war. I mean, next turn, because it never lasts with that faction. Um, what else is there to do here? So my plan is... I'm going to move this guy into Miyagi, and this is going to be a front line against Hatakeyama. I... 
I don't plan on taking over this area immediately. I, I want to expand into central Japan because I, I want to get a lead on Iko Iki. Iko Iki are always the biggest threat. Boron and everything is just terrible to deal with. I want to move, get these two provinces just before Realm Divide and... Uh, or just as I'm causing Realm Divide and then I'll be in a much stronger position overall. I think I'm gonna pillage Wari. I think I can I, I can't lose any more Daimyo Honor. Yep, I'm at six. So I'm going to pillage Uwari and then take the funds to recruit more units over here and start pushing towards the north as well with North Shinano. Ahem. <clears throat> Well, wow, is there else anything worth upgrading this guy with? Uh, he already has Night Fighter. Yeah, he starts with that. How old is he though? He, I don't think he, he's forty-four. Okay, so he can probably live to the re like to the end of the campaign at this rate. Construction complete. Market in Ichizen. Wait, how many Metsukes do I have? I have. Okay, I already have the maximum, and they all seem to be pretty strategically placed. They're all pretty far apart. This guy is completely isolated. This guy is all the way over here. And then, so when enemy agents come to target my Metsukes, like they have to march a long distance between all of them. I could also kill two of these Metsukes here, but I have no idea what rank they are. It might not be worth it, honestly. And then the, the moment I get a general, this ninja. Oh, oh boy. Yeah, this ninja is getting really annoying right now. I need to do so. I can't free up any Metsukes for that, and I can't recruit any high-ranking ninjas. This is why it's so important to get, like, towards central Japan right now. Because that guy already wounded one of my... Oh, wait, there's Rebellion here. That guy already wounded this general here. He, 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 he showed up again in Sagami. And I think he's relatively... Oh, he's a few battles away from, from stand and fight. I'm also two turns away from equal fields. I'm gonna plop a farm. I think Iwate is a good one. Iwate and Uzen. They're rich and they're relatively isolated provinces, so I'm not gonna lose them. No, I think I think I'll actually use the monk to deal with this ninja. It's risky, but he's rank four and he has the con the character conversion thing. Yeah, plus one to deal on converting characters. I think that's uh, it's, it's worth the, the try at least. Like, let me see what is 44% not bad. You'll probably die in a gruesome death, but it's worth the try, right? Aha! I'll just merge while I can't. Gonna raid the farm and worsen my food situation yet again. Iko Iki, let the war dec declaration oh come. Oh no, they're not gonna not gonna do that. Oh, okay. But I spy with my little eye a great opportunity there that they just handed to me. The classic siege assault maneuver. Yeah, with, with six Yari Ashigaro, I could it's I could really do this ambush well, but it really it also really comes down to um it, it really comes down to what kind of terrain I get. I ha it says hilly light forest, but I have no idea. Like I, this is one thing I wish like I would improve uh, the game. I would do to improve the game, it would be to add uh, a preview battle map like you can scroll in to see what the battle map is going to look like uh, I'm going to decline that attack let them go for the fort
Assassination attempt. Where? 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 Oh, and we got another one over here as well. Okay. Yeah, this is getting... The situation is getting desperate and I cannot just have... I, I cannot just sit around and let, and, let the, and, and let the dice be rolled like that. It's really unusual to have, gen like, generals get targeted in this manner, like, this consistently. Whatever, this is what a man has got to do and the siege uh, battle music is still playing there, of course. So yeah, I, I have to just keep on the move at this point. I have to keep on moving. I, I gotta move against Iko Iki over here, declare war on them and... Go after the garrison. Like, wipe out the army and then go after the garrison, but what's... That might trigger Realm Divide, we'll see, but more importantly, I think... I, I need to, uh... Get this guy going, get him moving. Oh! We're gonna sail you all the way over to Iko Iki lands here. Get moving! Now we're the ones doing the naval invasions. How does that make them feel? Okay. Yep. I think it's time to... Uh... I'm gonna just pillage this. And that's Tokugawa, I guess. Who cares about the trade agreements? Screw the trade agreements. All right, uh, and they do have they, they do have quite a lot of boronin. I would have uh, I would have liked to have one unit of light cavalry just to make this a bit easier. But whatever, we will uh, go on with this offensive, and hopefully we'll uh, we'll get stand and fight maybe on this general. I need to just keep on moving and hope that the ninja doesn't keep on targeting him because. Ninja don't usually change their targets in this game. They will just keep on trying. Like, they will pick a target. Like, if they want to sabotage an army, they will keep on sabotaging it. So they're going to come in from the east, which is where I currently am sitting, actually. We're going to send up the bo... Uh, the bo not, not you, the bo samurai up and go... Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Okay, there they are. So... We're gonna try and hide our men here. Just overlooking the battle, I guess. They only have one general that I really need to pay attention to. So, you know, I'm gonna send one unit of... Just one unit of Yari Ashigaru to intercept. Because he's gonna try going for the fort. So yeah, this is my goal. Just hide all these units here and then send them out into the fight and give them matchlock support as well. So need matchlock support as well. Bow samurai are going to go over there and finish off the garrison for us. Man, I hope they do not target us. Okay, I'm gonna pull this unit back now since this is getting targeted. Since it seems to be the one that they want to target. Okay, I'll try an envelopment even if we're fighting uphill, but that actually gives our matchlocks like an opportunity to fire. Bring in these Yari Ashigaru as well. Put them in the Yari wall and get them in the flanks, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna pull these matchlock Ashigaru out. Okay, yeah, this is not going over as well as I'd hoped it to. These matchlocks are taking way too much damage. Like, holy crap.
Okay, that's done. Let's wipe out these units now. And I'm hoping the both samurai are doing their work. Okay, they, it seems like they just arrived there. Yeah, Matchlock actually got it. Took way too much damage, though. Thankfully, there's not really much... Doesn't seem like there's going to be much chance of a follow-up fight right now. I could have maybe sat on the hill or whatever. It probably would have been better to deploy over here, actually, and push up over the hill. Rather than fighting at them at that really bad angle. But the main reason I did this fight anyway is I want to destroy... I, I, I want to get rid of the Bosa. I want to destroy another Iko Iki army and then take a settlement. Like, the main reason was the, the army. The settlement is basically just icing on the cake. I'm probably going to pillage it and just leave it be. Let's bring the generals over here just to inspire these guys. I stopped using the bow mod. Because it just made siege defenses, like, way too easy. Like, oh my god. On the flip side, it also allows you to do this crap as the attacker. And that's it, they're gone. That's another, that's a heroic victory, I believe. Oh, decisive, okay. And I believe, wait, that was a, that, that was the daimyo. Another Iko Iki daimyo is gone. All right, we will be pillaging that. That did not, did it cause Realm Divide? It didn't start the movie. And I don't see, yeah, I'm, I'm literally like one pixel away. I can't, I don't know, I can't, I can't, I can't, I think I can barely see that one pixel. I literally, if I win another heroic victory at this stage, I'm, I'm, I'm done, like it's Realm Divide. Yeah, let's repair that. This province is also gonna try... It also has some funny ideas going on here. I'm gonna get some more Yariashi God one then. Mm hmm okay. Wait a second, Hatakeyama, can I trade with you? Yeah, I, I want to do this because... I want to see what I'm dealing with. Okay, I, I just need to know what... Where the threat is coming from. Like, I need to know when to move this army over into Miyagi to defend it. Oh, this, the auto music in this game is always the most solemn. It makes me think about a different time, you know, in 2011 when this game came out. Oh boy. And we're one turn away from an arsenal, which will just make our match locks more effective. And we'll get access to fire rockets. I could... <laughs> Man, hand mortars are actually good against the AI because of just how crap it is at dealing with that stuff. It doesn't move. But yeah, this ninja is really scaring me right now. Hattori and Iko Iki, I need to move. Get moving against them. This is just not a good situation to be caught up in. Wait, yeah, I just... Oh, wait... I just realized I can use the rank 4 monk to inside unrest in Ikoiki lands. Yeah, I just f I forgot that was an option that I had. But can I even, can I like super peace with them? Okay. I, I, they've had enough of my antics and now they're not just accepting the peace deal after one turn of war declaration. Great. That's cool, man. So yeah, this place is about to break away.
Yeah, negative seven food. I don't think I've ever reached this high of a food deficit before. But, um, yeah, let's go to the next turn. Wait, is uh, Sado? Sado is fine. Okay, nothing's happening there. I told you, please leave my... Okay, it seems... If there's no, like, long pause while you're on a, a fa like, a faction's turn, that, mean, that means they haven't done any agent actions, which is good. Or I could be just horribly wrong. <laughs> we'll see about that. Alright, our first battle with Matchlock Samurai. Only non-garrison unit over here with gold attack as well. Honestly, I don't even think the, the rest of the garrison is necessary for this fight. I think the Matchlock Samurai would actually be able to do this on their own. Like, Rebel Ashigaru, no experience at all. They're just... Uh, they're just something else. They're, they're something else. They're in a different league of morale. Not in a good way. Alright. General, general. So they're going to be attacking mostly down here. <laughs> Got Boashigaru. Yeah, right. Boashigaru. Ah, okay. I think I'll have the Matchlock Samurai here, or more like here, actually, that's better. That's the that's really the only disadvantage of Matchlock Samurai over Ashigaru is just fewer men means they can't cover. Like, Matchlocks need coverage to be really effective. So I'm going to place this into Boashigaru down here, and then another Boashigaru as well. Garrison, I'm going to keep inside, because they're just going to break like near instantly under matchlock fire and then the retainers and onabushi are going to be together ready just to delay units while my archers like do their work <laughs> looks like they're just going to start climbing the wall right away okay fine 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 you do that you climb the walls and i'll get these guys on the walls as well Come on, get running, get moving. <laughs> Let's push these guys up a bit further. Hit him there. Already got some wavering units, some routing units as well. Uh, rapid volley. Yeah, I mean, it's not the time for that. Yeah, let's do rapid volley, I guess. Matchlock Samurai, only 28 kills. It would have been so much better to place them on the lower wall. I didn't expect them to literally just climb right away. That was very, very unexpected. Let's get the Yari Ashigaru there because the Bo Ashigaru is going to show up now real quick. Reformed lines on the walls. Onabushi. Yeah, we'll just get those Boashigaru.
Well, she got us already broken. Yeah, they're, they're doing the samurai dance over here. Oh, this Onabushi might actually kill the general over here. Just a, just a hint of archer support. What happened to this boy? She got her shattered. Okay. They have been shattered, and that might be the army losses. Yeah. My lord, a glorious victory will soon be yours. I'd rather keep the rebels alive for now. Let's not finish them off. Because until we deal with the food shortage situation, we're just gonna keep on getting them. And the uh, and building farms should also give us a bit more money. So wait, 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 did I, did I like, did, did I like break the game at this point? Like, this army is never going to be able to attack because they keep on getting ambushed. And where did their general go? Didn't they have a general that, like, did, what, did he get assassinated or something? Anyway, yeah, we got a legendary achievement, so even better, right? Even more elite matchlock samurai. I think I should be able to fight off this guy with just this army. Can't bribe me yeah, because that's the daimyo. We also got our own rebels here in uh, Miyagi. So let's uh, just tax the hell out of this problem. It's like they start rebelling, but they just stay. They're, they're still paying your taxes, which is great. It's a Sengoku world. It's a stri uh, The past is a different country, as they say. Yeah, I, th I think I'm just going to let Tokugawa show up or Ikoeki show up and take over the province. Whatever. Oh yeah, and I just got equal fields. I almost forgot about that. So we're going to go build this two, two charge bonus. So I think I'm just going to actually... Um... Yep, start inciting revolts in the Ikoeki... Get some uh, some of my money back from you know from getting this monk. Will also allow me to weaken the eco Iki without like crossing into realm divide. And there's this navy here, so there's like three things going on at the same time, something like that. I need to get this navy across. I have this uh, raiding party warfare going on here, just making me money. And I need to. Uh, Build some farms. That seems to be it. So I'm going to build one here. Here, since I'm going to be holding this province. You want to prioritize the provinces that you're actually holding on to. Terrace farming. I, I, I'm not I, I don't need to go to get I, I like I don't need to work for a positive surplus just but you know just enough for like negative one or negative two is way more manageable it's, it's it's less I mean it's it's not necessary to deal with it but it's just an inconvenience dealing with all the rebels but I think that might be enough And yeah, let's go to the next turn. Not like we need to do anything else. Oh wait, yeah, and Sado, Sado, yeah, yeah. 
this is like a free upgrade over here. All farms give you the same level of food, regardless of if they're barren or fertile, which is weird. I, I wonder if that was intentional or just like an oversight or something. But uh, I think I can go into the next turn. We're only making 1.1k. I wonder why. Is it because... Uh, was that all coming from trade with the eco -Iki? It seems like it... Seems like it was literally just all coming from trade with the eco -Iki. Atakiyama's also at war with Atori, it seems just good, I guess. Well, let me go to the next turn. Let's go. Got another Hattori army incoming. Ikoiki seem to be distracted dealing with rebels that I uh, definitely had no hand in inciting. I would have rather that these guys like stay put for a bit longer. Also, yeah, I forgot you got a dojo firebound thrower. It's kind of funny. Well, I was wrong about that. They finally actually managed to attack. But this is going to be more than easy. I, I, I remember they had a general. Like, I'll have to go watch the VOD. Like, I I, I didn't... I, I, I don't know. I've never seen, like, the AI target rebel armies with the agents. That would be really weird if they used their ninja to take out a rebel general. Arguably, placing these guys in the reinforcing army would have been better. It makes it easier to use them. But uh, I also want to be able to replenish them. And I don't have a general to sit outside the fort with them, unfortunately. So it really, like, the cavalry probably going to be useless as fights outside of running down the rebels. A putre. Got the Boashi Garu Garrison here as well. I think I'm gonna place these guys down here and see what I get. Oh, actually, that's a lot of Boashi Garu down there. Place these guys in the rear here. We got some down there as well. Okay, I'm going to place matchlocks in the rear in the farthest tier over here. And these guys have unfortunately deployed all the way down here instead of up here, as they did usually. As they did, they did before, I mean. Any other reinforcements? Nope. None. I don't think I'll involve them in the fight outside of just running down rebels, just cutting off their escape routes. Well, I actually could have sent the cavalry out, maybe. Uh, I don't know if they'd be able to shatter them, though. Outright. Then there's also the enemy light cavalry just behind them, which would have made this fight a bit messier. A lot more, a lot messier, actually. Some down there as well. All right, no return fire yet, it seems. But it will be coming eventually. Yeah, now the return fire is showing up. Yeah, here they are targeting the the rear and the unit in the rear, as they very normally do. These guys have only five morale, so it's not gonna be that. 
the fight's not gonna go down that well. Oh yeah, fire arrows as well. From the towers. Yeah, so I could have actually involved the cavalry here. I'm gonna I'm gonna move them down here, try move them down here and then out here to go after the archers. Shigaru, I've gotten 200 kills. Not bad, not bad at all, actually. How about you target a different unit? Which one? Well, okay. Yeah, just friendly fire, it seems, I think. Just a bit of friendly fire. I think they killed more of their own men with those volleys now. And luckily the cavalry dismounted. They still get some bonus versus cavalry because they have spears, but it's not as bad it's not as 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 bad as when they're actually mounted. So I think I will send the katana cavalry up front because that's what they do better. Katana cavalry charging frontly and then the light cavalry using their speed or yachty cavalry using their speed to get around faster. That seems to be like the best option, but unfortunately it's the light cavalry here who have so far out outrun the... Oh, there's bow cavalry as well. Yeah, let's get him as well. Quick, 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 quick. Okay, we're getting, we're getting countercharged by, uh, unfortunately. Yeah, no, no units breaking here, unfortunately. I think I just did this, like, I was I was getting a bit too ambitious. And this unit's already... Wait, what? How are you wavering? What happened to you that you're actually wavering? You've got pretty high morale. Okay, yeah, now they're going after these, uh... Katana Cavalry here. Get these guys out of the fight. No, no, get out, get out of the fight, get out of the fight, get out of the fight. Oh boy, this is uh, not a good idea, it seems. Yeah, this definitely wasn't a good idea. Sorry about that. Should have kept things simple. Look at all how much, how much this, these light cavalry just lost over here. Holy crap. Well, at least I'll uh, recover that. Hattori isn't... Like, this is the end of the turn, so... I'm not gonna have to deal with Hattori yet, I think. I saw they had an army running in. It's kind of difficult to use cavalry when you start with them inside the fort because of the way the pathfinding works and they just turn into one like long line. Nah, he's just going to get assassinated like literally right away.
<clears throat> so yeah, the, the general is going to spawn over there. I'm going to go for a two-tier defense over here. Because I can't rely on the garrison. I can't really rely on the garrison much. But at the same time, I kind of have to. Like, I can't let them surround me in the fort. Otherwise, it's just going to go down terribly. It depends on where the general spawns here. Where did he spawn? Well, they all spawn together for the most part. Well, in that case... Let's flip everything around then. Quick. Oh, it's mostly Yari Ashigaro on that end. Okay, that's great, great, great. I, oh, wait, wait, wait. I just realized what I could do. Route these units. They don't have any Bo Ashigaro. Okay, route them. And then they'll run in this direction and start causing all these units to waver. Oh, boy. Talk about positioning your... Your army just completely wrong. I'm gonna send you two guys forward quick. Get the garrison, like, get, have the garrison gain some experience, even if it's only gonna be for this fight. Now, my issue is they might. Oh, wait, yeah. Okay, oh my god. Yeah, let's get, let's get off, 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 get off. Get off the walls now. Just get off the walls right now, please. Holy crap, that went down terribly. Please target the... Please target the Boashigaro instead. Okay, good. This is done over here. That's uh, So they didn't, they didn't really route in the direction I hoped they would. But this can still work out well, right? I think it can. Go, 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 go. Let's get those kill counts up. And I just realized, wait, that's not even the... Oh my god, what is wrong with me today? That wasn't even the... I, I didn't even spot that group because... They're camouflaged against the, slow, the snow pretty much. Yeah, this uh, battle... War time is not on our side right now. They're already at the first wall. Get the samurai retainers in there. Give it, put some spine into the defenders a bit. For just a bit longer. Come on. I did not spot that unit of Yari Ashigaru, that group of Yari Ashigaru there. At least the Bo Ashigaru are the ones taking the fire now for the most part. Come on, route, 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 route. Yeah, get fire arrows down there as well. That should help a bit. You have to give the attack order here. And what on earth are you doing? Fine, pull your pull back, pull back further. Come on. You're gonna have to get these guys out of Yada Wall so they actually start moving. Also targeting the matchlock as she got on the rear, so. Yeah, please target the Boashigaro. Yeah, I did not see that cluster of Yari Ashigaro. I was surprised a bit. What? They got over there that fast? And then I'm like, wait a second. Killed. I got, I got 230 kills despite my hor horrific mismanagement. I had the right idea based on the wrong assumption. That sucks. And now our time is literally against me because they're gonna go try capping the flag. Yeah, pull this guy, pull this guy through quick. I have about one minute to get all this done. Go after that other target now. 
Luckily, they don't seem to be prioritizing the flag that much. They seem to be more concerned with the matchlock Ashigaru. But uh, yeah, that worked. Some early hiccups, but making the units route in that direction actually helped a bit. Oh my. So sorry what happened to you, man. Oh, oh, wait, 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 was that? What was that? Assassination attempt? Sabotage attempt. Okay. Oh. Oh, boy. Always a bit of a heart stopping moment. Let's incite another revolt. Maybe level this guy up and make him better. Even better as inciting revolts. We'll see. We just got some extra match locks to really make sure that uh, we send a message to the people in this province. And then more rebels showing up. I have about 10 turns worth of income unless I uh, pillage another province, which seems like the thing I need to do next. Did this guy not move his army or was it always here? So uh, instead of like trying to take out my general again, he's decided to take over, like try and sabotage the trading port. Well, okay, sure, I guess. I, I guess that's okay. On, on we go to the next turn, I believe, except for Ugo. Now, I think that's enough to deal with the rebels. I can also bribe them if it really the situation gets really bad. Iwate is also really good right now. His daimyo honor, culture, yeah, all the buildings and everything. So I could just send these Yadayashigaru elsewhere, or even better, just like disband them. Should consider, yeah, disbanding some units. Also, again, I forgot. Cannot forget about this. I cannot hit the end turn button and then let them get their path blocked and lose an entire turn of movements. That's going to be terrible. But it's all okay. As long as I can get Yuji Yasu over here and pillage the province, should be good. I want at least 10k Koku from Owari. Oh, who are you going after? They're just like the, the targeting system with the AI. I can never pin it down, like really figure out like what's it going to go for next. Oh, <laughs> it's the early game mission that I finally finished. That's classic me, by the way. Oh, wait. Yeah, well. Have come to our well, I, I have my own like home uh, homemade guns right now, like locally grown. I think I prefer them. But I guess I will take the free matchlock Ashigaru and this thing killed my income. I don't need it. I guess I will take the free matchlock Ashigaru, post him over here in this province. <sighs> Alright, another unit of rebels, another army of rebels, easy to deal with. Oh my god, but they don't have a general, so I should be able to deal with this. Maybe even bribe them. What's the bribing cost going to be on this? Yeah, a bit too high for my liking. Fire arrows or kinzamint is actually going to be better. The 
The Tory army seems to have stalled over here, possibly blocked by the rebels. Who knows? Right, we'll see what else is uh, going on here in Iko Iki lands. Oh, look. Okay, well, can't reach this turn. If you count uh, the, the high income turns, it's actually more like 20 turns until I, I go bankrupt, so assuming I don't spend on anything. Like, every two turns, I'm losing about 1,000 Koku. Yeah, keep moving. Oh, I almost forgot about this guy. Please do not get your path blocked. Okay, great. Oh my god, they have... Oh boy, they have the black ship. That is one... This is one encounter that I did not expect to have right now. I, I might have to land my army early because... Uh, oh boy, that's the black ship. So one of those cases where the, the auto-resolve really, really shows how... Uh, uh, limited it is because of how much it just overvalues samurai units even against experienced Yari experienced Ashigaru.